More than 48,000 people died by gunfire in the United States in 2022. 830 of those deaths happened right here in Wisconsin. Most Americans agree gun violence is a problem in our communities, but what they disagree on, the solution. Maddie Heinz sat down with advocates on both sides of the aisle. There is no cookie cutter approach. Anthony Cooper is the CEO and founder of violence prevention organization Focused Interruption. Some of these common sense things uh, don't don't always meet the smell test. And Rob Kovac is the president of Wisconsin's NRA affiliation. Both serve communities here in Dane County where firearm deaths have recently outpaced motor vehicle deaths for the first time ever. On the federal level, gun violence is growing at the same trajectory. So on the national stage, you'll hear similar discussions. They spend their time banning books instead of banning assault weapons. Clearly, strict gun laws is not the thing that is going to solve this problem. So how do we solve this problem. Cooper says to start at the cause. We need to make sure that we're connecting people with, that means um, mental health, mental health, um, just overall wellness, but then also how are we also making sure that our, our youth are being supported. And that's something both parties agree on. We unfortunately have a mental health crisis in this country. I don't think it's the whole reason why we have such a bad gun violence problem, but I do think it's a big piece of it. But Cooper says it can't end at mental health support. So gun locks is, is, is one part of it, but then also I even think evaluation also need to be a, another part of it as, as well before someone actually is able to purchase a, a gun. Kovac says the solution can't compromise constitutional rights. Without the Second Amendment, uh, all of the other amendments have no means of, of defense against tyranny in the future. We're really a civil rights organization. In Wisconsin, traditionally democratic policies like universal background checks, safe storage laws, and assault weapon bans are currently not enforced. We find things that make it really impractical for the, the law-abiding citizen. Yeah, it's, it might interfere with uh, the rare criminal that goes to a store to buy a firearm, but Otherwise, it's interfering with those law-abiding citizens' ability to access their firearms rights. But Cooper says those rare criminal instances... Nine times out of ten, someone that who has been impacted by gun violence will eventually pick up a gun. ...can set off a ripple effect with consequences that long surpass this year's election. I'm Maddie Heimsch, Fox 47, News at 9.